As the developing country of Bolivia gets bigger and bigger on the world scale, things are changing for the country, and some in the wrong direction, like child labor. Child labor has been common in Bolivia since the Spaniards invaded Bolivia, which was in 1532. Here we are specifically viewing child labor in terms of mining. Families under a bad economical situation are forced to send children to do such work in order to pay off debts and also have enough money to at least survive on. Mining is one of the most common types of child labor and is probably one of the most dangerous to one's health. Kids who are in this position are also not allowed to go to school since they have to work all day. Almost 13% of children from age 10 to 14 are forced to be in such a situation, which in terms of Bolivia's population is a lot. I guess, I guess that's a lot compared to the overall population of Bolivia. Yes, that is quite a bit in comparison to the 10.5 million people who live in Bolivia. That would make sense because an overpopulated country would also give an opening to a lot of poverty. What's even worse about the situation is that the government has stated child labor as illegal. But people are still doing this, and the government hasn't taken any evident action. Even though this is, change is somewhat visible, and this situation for the children is getting slightly better. Still, there is huge room for improvement for this landlocked country in South America. Protesters are starting to begin, although they have no major effect on the issue, but are slowly creating positive change. At the beginning of the 19th century, some regions of Great, Great Britain had about 25% of workers who were children at cotton mills. This began to start a trend amongst other countries as well, which of course inspired Bolivia, resulting in booming economy and a much better financial situation. This takes us to our next topic. How has this been affected by the Industrial Revolution? The Industrial Revolution was a huge game changer to the way work was done, especially in terms of child labor. The United States Census shows that in 1900, about 2 million out of 30 million children were employed, in which many of them were engaged in mining and manufacturing. Since Bolivia is one of the richest countries in minerals, mining in Bolivia has been central to Bolivian history since the Spanish colonized the region in the 16th century. The Spaniards used native Bolivians as forced labor to extract vast quantities of silver, which were shipped across the Atlantic to enrich the Spanish crown and finance its foreign wars. Before the 20th century, when child labor was common, 50% of the workforce in Belgian craft flax and hemp, also known as fiber industries, were made up of children. Also, children made up about 20% of workforce in coal mining and textiles. In the 21st century, much smaller scale of child labor has continued. However, it is still a considerable issue in the developing world. In 2000, it was approximately calculated that about 200 trillion children between 5 and 14 were still working throughout the world, many working full time. All these happenings that have taken place related to child labor in the past have shaped us today. The way we get work done and the businesses work are really correlated to the idea of the past. That is very true. And I think that because of empathy towards these many children, we have also developed a better sense of understanding and how children should be able to learn, to live a good life, and have a family. I think that Bolivia is also slowly learning from the many happening of the Industrial Revolution and is slowly starting to create more efficient businesses because of better ideology. Now that children don't work as much, businesses run more efficiently because the workers are actually appropriate for the job. Thank you for listening to our presentation and always think before doing anything. Does everyone get this type of luxury? Because as we have shown in this presentation, not everyone does.